Hey, it's Diane from Teach Pre-K. Oh, sorry about that. Um, it is the 24th of October. So uh, tomorrow is the 25th, finishing up our first week of Halloween stuff. So I thought I would kind of show you what's going on in my room and what I have coming up. And you're probably gonna think this is a giant mess, but this is part of my process. And um, I'm such a visual person that this is what works for me. So I'm just gonna show you some stuff and I'll show you my bulletin board um, and the evolution of that as well. Okay, so the kids come in, there's their little jack-o'-lantern and their cubbies. Uh, we did a five little pumpkins book study craft. I have put up my Halloween alphabet, which is super fun. Uh, for pumpkin week, we hot glued unwrapped crayons on pumpkins and brought my hair dryer and um, melted the crayons. This little guy, I found at Target, the kids last year like died for it. This year, they really don't care very much. So funny how kids are. So here's my other pumpkin. I have two classes, so I did two. I've got some Halloween posters and excuse all the Legos, but the kids like to save what they built for the next day. But I've got some little Halloween houses, fall leaves, more jack-o'-lanterns. Um, here's just some Halloween posters. I have a gigantic tarantula hanging up here. Um, so this was apple orchard, then the trees became fall trees. Um, and now, yeah, we got a little pumpkin patch thing, but now we're in a costume shop. And you guys, I'm not gonna lie, it is absolutely wild. Um, I'm super excited for Halloween to be over. It's just too much, but they're really cute. They put the little dress ups on and bring these little buckets around and pretend they're trick or treating. Here's just some more of my Halloween decor. Um, but they've been having a lot of fun with that. On my block table, I just had magnet tiles, magnet tile roads and cars, pocket chart words. Why do they always have to mess up my read? Let's fix this. But here's my bookshelf while I'm fixing that. Um, I actually have so many Halloween books that I just switched them out for another set of books for the last week so they haven't seen most of these books i always keep the lego ideas book and the shape books um on my magnet board i don't know how this letter a is here that's from last week but i just have halloween stuff kids in halloween costumes haunted house um i made these years ago with just some cute clip art from edge clips and whimsy clips and um you there's actually printable magnet paper but now i have a laser printer and it won't work on that but the, they're really cool i've laminated them but the kids have already peeled off most of the lamination um this is a fan favorite i keep taking these out of this area and the kids ask me to put them back in they're these little uh snap dinosaurs from kugum toys and i'll put a link to their site because um, if you go to their site and buy anything, uh, I'm one of their sponsor people, I guess. Um, you get a percentage off. I think you get like 10 or 15 percentage percent off. Okay, so you guys, this brings me to my little, <laughs> my teacher card, which is kind of a mess right now. I'm getting it ready for next week. So I do an ABC boo and we sing the alphabet song, A, B, C, D, E. And every time they see a ghost, they say boo. And I move the ghosts. I don't take any letters out. Some people take letters out and use the ghost to replace the letters. 
At least that's what somebody wrote in and told me that, that she does. Um, and Super Simple Songs, which was my inspiration for this. That's what they do, but I don't. I want the kids to see the letters over and over. So after we say boo, we just pick up the alphabet song um, from where we left off. Uh, this is another thing that I just made over last weekend. And it's a Halloween ABC. And I use this with my pre-K only. I point to the letter and I say A, astronaut, A, ah, B, bat, B, C, cat, K. So we do that for the whole alphabet. And we've done that a few times and they are totally loving it because they love the Halloween pictures. So it's just another way for me to show the letters and do the letter sounds. Okay, one thing we're gonna do during circle time next week is I will use my whiteboard. This is my whiteboard I use for name of the day and it's ready for tomorrow's name, it's just Evie. Um, I'll write a number and then we'll clap count, jump count, um, slow motion sit down count. We'll do that number on our fingers. But I have all these ghosts and I have this empty jar. So if our number was four, I would call a child up and they would put four ghosts in the jar and we'd count them slowly. One, two, three, four. So then I'd say, you know, thank you so-and-so. And here is what four ghosts in the jar looks like. So we get more, um, and of course we'll have numeral recognition because I write it on my whiteboard, but we get more of a one-to-one -one correspondence because I make them drop the ghosts in the jar one at a time. And then uh, going forward, um, the items, the little manipulative, manipulatives that they use will change to match our theme. Um, I bought a table scatter and I think on Amazon, I just typed in Halloween table scatter. And these are great because it was like ghost skulls, witch hats, witch boots, pumpkins, bones, um, and they would be really good for sensory bins and for math activities. So that is something I'm going to do with them during circle time next week to get in more counting because I've been focusing a lot on letters. Okay, guys. Now this, yes, it's a mess. This is my process. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but I will show you. Here is my lesson plan slash newsletter. And then there are five stacks. You'll see where the books are. One, two, three, four, five. And then there are activities lined up under those stacks of books. So I may not get to all of the books for Monday. So I've got Alpha Oops. It's really short. The Ghosts Go Hunting. And then Room on the Broom. Because our letter is W. And we are going to make some witches that day. So I've got my W is for witch. Oh. I don't have my one that's made up, but you guys, they're so cute. Let me see if it's in here. No, but um, I have the kids make a witch and they can have straight hair or scraggly hair. It has a 3D nose. I will print the purple paper and it will say W is for witch and they have to trace the W. Um, these spider rings and these straws are for a game I play. I have more straws that I have to get out. And then I will cut the spiders off the spider ring. This one's cut off already, if you can see it. We will do a science experiment and we will blow air through the straw and see how far we can blow the spiders. So it's just kind of using, you know, wind power or the power of your own breath to move things. And that's super fun. And then they get to take the spider home. And they love that because they get this little spider. Um, I made these this morning. Found this really cute haunted house clip art. So we're just going to do counting with this 
next Monday. So here's zero, of course, how many ghosts are in the haunted house? Zero, one, two, and then it's gonna start getting harder and we're gonna start counting. And it goes up to 10. So that's what I'm doing Monday. So what I'm gonna do with all this stuff, when I'm ready, is I will put up in my Monday drawer. And you see I have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I will do the same for every other day. Okay, Tuesday is gonna be, we did creepy carrots and I'll show you what we did for creepy carrots um, in a minute, but we'll do creepy pair of underwear. We will make a creepy pair of underwear. So I've got a bunch of templates and stuff cut out. I have a game called Where's the Cat? And these witch hats have numbers and I hide the cats under those. Um, I have this activity. It is mark the letter. My pre-K really likes to do those. So that's something I might do. I'm gonna put all this stuff in Tuesday and we'll just see what we end up doing. Wednesday, uh, we love Scaredy Squirrels. So I'll read Scaredy Squirrels Halloween and this book is really cute too, One Spooky Night. My pre-K is into coloring and I have these little foldy, folded coloring books for Halloween. My preschool likes to do pokey pictures that we put on the light table. So I'll run those off on construction paper and we'll bring the light table in for that. Um, here's my recipe for slime. We're gonna make slime that day. And I have this book, 10 Little Pumpkins, and they love it because it's got the reversing sequence. And they'll each get a cauldron with 10 pumpkins in it and they will follow along with the book. And that will go in my Wednesday. Now Thursday's Halloween. So I'm saving two favorites. Skeletons are not spooky and Creepy Crayon will kind of round out the creepy series. And then I've got these activities. I have what belongs to me. It is different Halloween costumes. And there are one, two, there's a little quadrant here. And there's picture cards. Um, and they have to just match the cards to the picture. And of course, a princess doesn't use a rocket ship unless she's a science princess. And then for my three-year-olds, um, I like this real, not real thing. It's good for the four-year-olds too. We'll just go through different things for Halloween. <coughs> Excuse me. And they will sort into uh, piles of real or not real. So, um, this thing is really cool. <coughs> I'm really sorry. End of the day. I've been talking all day. You guys, we had a um, lockdown drill today. And we had um, uh, this little drive-by for Red Ribbon Week. Okay. So, I made these transfers. And these are actually printable. And then I have a black background. So I put these in sheet protectors and we have got um, a check off for these guys. So there's spider, witch, princess, ghost, mummy, and bat. And this little flashlight thing will go between, see how it looks like a flashlight? It goes between the black background and the printed off. So they're like ghost and then they'll check off the ghost bat. We'll check off the bat, witch, mummy, princess, spider. And I made four different ones so they can, you know, pass them off to a friend, but they really like these. These are super fun. I wish I've made more of these for other themes, but they're really kind of hard to make. It's a touchy thing, especially now that I have a laser printer. I think it would melt the pages, but since it's Halloween day, I kind of saved those activities for Halloween day. Um, for the day after Halloween, which I do think is the worst day of the entire school year, they have library, so I only have one book. And this is a read, maybe read, maybe not read. And it's just my pre-K that day. Here, I feel like I've got everything the wrong way. Uh, so we've got Scary Squirrel at night. 
their journal page will be what I like the most about Halloween. And then I'm going to give, since I don't work Fridays, I'm going to give them two things. There was an old lady who swallowed a bat with my old lady. And I've got, oops, I've got props that you can't see, but I've got printed props for this. Oh, gosh. Um, and then I have a Halloween bingo game. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I need the worst. I didn't put in my stand. So, yeah. Then they just mark the pictures. Normally, I would really, like, just end Halloween and Halloween. But they have half day and they have library and it's book fair and it's... It, it, there's not going to be a whole lot of stuff going on inside the classroom. Um, I think this is fine for that. So, you guys, this is, and then this is the stuff I need to put away. Um, those are song props. I'll probably keep those. I do have a new letter next week, so I'll put it in my letter of the week drawer, W. And this, oh my gosh, you guys, this is the cutest thing. I have to show this to you. Okay. This is a math game, and I didn't get to play it this week, so I'm feeling like I'm going to play it next week. I might substitute it for one of the activities I just showed you, but these are lima beans. Um, one side is a ghost. The other side is painted green, and it has a goblin face on it, and what I do, this is really good. I mean, even for a few people who might teach higher grades than preschool. It kind of helps teach fact families. So we'll put these in a Halloween cup, shake it around, roll it out on the carpet, and we'll go, okay, let's count the ghosts. One, two, three, four ghosts. And then count the goblins. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are more goblins than there are ghosts. There are less ghosts than there are goblins. So I use as much math talk, and if it was five and five, I'd do, it's the same. But this is how I made these, and I made these 400 years ago. Um, I got white lima beans, and I laid them flat on just some kind of paper, and then I painted them this green color with spray paint, and then I sharpied every one of these suckers. Yeah, uh, a ghost on one side and a goblin on the other side. Um, in the past, I used to make sets of these and give them to the kids as a Halloween gift, but oh my gosh, that's so much work. Um, here's my books. It's half of my books for Halloween. It's ridiculous. I have a ridiculous amount of books, but um, that's where I am right here. I will show you my bulletin board in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more thing in my room. Um and show you my Creepy Carrots project and what we have done for Halloween. Um, I did a video where I showed you guys, I took my apple bulletin board and I just changed the trees out to fall trees and then we made the whole bulletin board fall. Well, I have since added to that. So I didn't take the fall stuff off, then add the Halloween stuff, I left it on. Um, so it's like a big, beautiful fall Halloween scene, but it's a little bit crazy. Um, I feel like the kids are super overstimulated and I feel like I'm just adding to it. I also want to show you guys, um, I think I showed you my skeleton that moves around. So I have a skeleton that is like an elf on the shelf that pops around my room. Um, I don't know why I do this to myself. You guys, I loved Halloween before I became a teacher and I don't like Halloween very much anymore. It's just too much. The kids are nuts. So this week, um, we did Red Ribbon Week. Um, we had a drive-by of police and ambulance and everything today for Red Ribbon Week. And we had a lockdown drill. Um, and it's been like for Red Ribbon Week, we've been dressing in different things every day. And some of the kids have come in Halloween costumes. And you guys, it, they they have been wild. And I have Halloween costumes in my classroom like you saw. And it just is making them wild and crazy. So if you're a teacher that doesn't like Halloween, I feel you. I understand you. And it's okay. There's lots of us out there. 
there's lots of us in my school. So I know that there's some, I have, there's still the wide eyed newbies that love it, but no, thank you. It's too much. But at the same time, the kids are having so much fun and they're so adorable. It's, ugh. and whoever put the time change after Halloween, come on, man. What do you want to do to us? Kill us? Probably. Okay. I'm going to show you my bulletin board and stuff. Okay. This is our creepy carrots book study. So there's just like a copy of the book cover. And then I made this like welcome to crack and Humper field and the kids all made their own carrots. Some of them made happy carrots. Some of them made angry carrots, but man, they love the creepy carrots. Oh, this is left over from our ghost hunt. We do a ghost hunt in the dark with flashlights. It's awesome. The kids love it. It's their favorite. Um, more ghosts. Okay, so this, as you can see, we made ghosts this week. And the ghosts are on my fall bulletin board. So I kept all the fall stuff and just added the ghosts and the jack-o'-lanterns. And the ghosts are pretty big, so they go out to there. Oh, this is my coworker's pumpkin that she did. She did it on a white pumpkin. Pretty cool. So that is that. It's getting spooky. Some of these little ones are my favorite. Darling. Okay, so that's it for Halloween. I have now got to go and put all my stuff away and get cleaned up so I can go home. Thanks.